hi sweeties how you all doing in today's tutorial i'll be showing us the cutting the sewing of this beautiful outfit this is a corporate trouser with a beautiful top to match it up both the cutting parts and the sewing part of both are inside this video i made this beautiful outfit with three years of duchess fabrics by 60 length please if you know you're coming across my channel for the first time please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel so guys i'll be cutting my trouser with this pattern paper after i will now transfer it to the main fabrics so i'll be starting my measurement from one and a half inches one and a half inches will serve as my band width so from there I will take my hip line measurement which is 9 inches I'm taking my vertical measurement first so from there I will now I will now take my crotch line measurement which is 10 and quarter inches how do you get your crotch measurement you get your crotch measurement by dividing your hip that's your hip circumference by four. So whatever that gives you will be your crotch line. You can as well get your crotch line by sitting on a flat surface, then measure from your navel through your side down to the surface where you're sitting on. So through that way you can still get your crotch line but I normally use my hip circumference and it works perfectly for me. I divide my hip circumference by four and I don't add any allowance to it. So can you see where my hand is? That's where I normally keep my trouser, my navel. So the next thing I will do is to take my new length from my navel to my nail is 22 inches so i measure my trouser from my navel so i'll go ahead and connect the line the length of my trouser is 42 inches so i'll go ahead and connect all the lines so guys we are done with all our vertical measurement so let's go ahead and take all our horizontal measurement so from my hip line i will take my hip circumference my hip circumference is 41 divided by 4 that's 10.2 so i will take the same 10.2 inches around my waistline and my crotch line always remember that anytime you're making a trouser you will divide only your hip line your your hip circumference and your waist measurement by four your lap your knee and your ankle you will divide them by two you divide them by two please take notes you will divide your hip by four your waist by four then your crotch which is your lap that's where you input your lap measurements your lap circumference that's where you input it you divide it by two and your knee by two then your ankle is by two also remember your fabrics has to be on food please don't forget to fold your fabrics anytime you're taking cutting anything at all so my lap divided by two is 12 inches my my lap is 24 inches that's my round lap so i will now connect it that is 12 inches right there now take my crotch curve so the next thing i will measure is my round waist my round waist is 34 inches divided by 4 which is 
8.5 so that is it right there then I will connect it to my hip area so I'll make it bolder with my marker so I will divide my crotch line into two please watch my crotch line which is 12 divided by 2 is 6 inches so I will take that 6 inches down as the middle of my crotch line that is how to get your new measurement each time you're making a pants a corporate trouser but if it has to do with palazzo you don't need all this when making a palazzo trouser so this is a straight corporate pant so I will connect the line to the end to the ankle you see that so my round nail is 17 inches if you divide that by two it will give me about eight and a half inches so I added half an inch to it to make it nine inches so what I did is I divided it into two then I will input four and a half on each side the right side four and a half the left side four and a half I will do the same thing around my ankle my ankle is 11 inches if you divide that by two it will give me it gave me 5.5 so I added half an inch to it so I took three three inch three three inches on both sides so I will now connect it I divided my nail measurements by two my name my round nail is 17 inches 17 inches divided by two is eight and a half so if you divide that eight and a half by two you input whatever you have on both sides remember the trouser the, the trouser is two this leg now is going to be two so when you join the two together it will now give you the 17 inches so what i have here now is half of 17 inches for one leg for one side of the trouser because it's two when it joins together it will now be 17. so i'll cut it out can you see that this is how to make a corporate pants trouser straight pants so I didn't cut it on fold but always remember to cut yours on fold so when I'm cutting it can you see that so when I'm cutting it on my fabrics I will fold my fabrics so that will give me two so this is the back part so from where my front crotch stopped I extended it by two inches for the back part then from there I came down by half an inch because I don't want the back part and the front part to be on the same line I want it slant so that's the half inch right there So I will now take two inches down for the back parts. So when I get to the down parts after my nail, I will now take one and a half. So 
So this is the back part of my trouser. So I will go up by one and a half inches. So from where the front stop, I will go up by one and a half inches. And this is for the middle back. You know, the back is supposed to be higher than the front because of the boots. So that is it right there. So from there, I will take one inch down to meet my back crotch. So I'm using this one inch for my zip. So I will now connect the back. That is the curve. Can you see how it is? It's not straight. Please make sure you watch this video to the end. You will not have issues making trouser. So from this part, because I'm going to take that for the back part of my trouser. So I added one inch from this, from the hip side. From this other side, I connect, I added one inch. Then I connected it to my hip. So I will now connect the the line my waistline my back waistline i will connect it remember this the back side is higher so this is just what it is this is how to cut your pants your corporate trouser that's the way i cut what i what i'm wearing in this video if you can do this you will not have issues so that's the back part Please always remember to take your measurements accurately and always remember to sew right. So I'll connect the down part. So this is it. So I'll now use it to cut out the main fabrics. But first of all, I will show you how to cut the pockets. The pocket from the trouser, from the front part of the trouser. So I will take my dart, I will fold the back part into two. That will make a notch. For my back that so I'll make a notch right there so I'll take four inches for my that So this is my front, the front part of my trouser. I will, came, I will come down from the front. I'll come down by half an inch as the slope, the front slope. I will come down by half an inch. Then I will connect it. So I'll cut it off. So from my hip side, I will now take my pocket measurement. So from there, I will take two and a half inches. Two and a half inwards. 
then I will take six and a half. You can take six inches, you can take seven, but please don't go up, don't do more than seven inches long. So I will now use my curve ruler to connect it. If you don't have a curve, you can do this with your free hand. So that's it right there. So can you see? Please don't forget to like. Remember to like, remember to share, remember to subscribe to my channel, please. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so very much for all your support. I really appreciate you guys. Don't worry, we are going to do this together and there will be no regrets. So this is what the front and back look like. Can you see that? So I'll use it and cut the main fabrics. So this is my main fabrics. I've cut both the front and the back. So this is the back parts. I'll go ahead and make a notch for my darts. So I'm using these pieces for my pockets. Please watch how you create your trouser pockets. It's very simple. So this is two pieces. It's 12 inches long and 7 inches on fold. So that means it's 12 inches long and 14 inches wide but on fold is 7 inches so the length of my pocket is 13 inches you can do 11 inches or 12 inches as well so I will now bring my trouser this is the trouser this is the front part of my trouser this is the part I created the pocket I cut out for the pocket so I open it up I open the two the two are here I open them up from one side I will cut it off both the right side of the pocket both are facing each other so this is how you are going to attach your pocket to your to your trouser so you see that place I cut out so you place it the right side facing each other can you see that you will now sew after sewing you top stitch on the pocket not the main fabric you top stitch and iron so I'll do that on both sides so I've done it so I'll go ahead and iron it. Iron very well. So after ironing, can you see the can you see that? This one that I see is a fold. So I will stitch under to close my pocket so that my money will not fall out. So that is where I will stitch. So remember I took two and a half inches. So because I've joined it, I've, I'm not left with two and quarter. So if after joining the side and everything, it might be remaining about one and a half. So this is the front part. This is how I'm going to join it. This is the front part of my trouser. So I'll join. I'll join it to where my just watch. I will stop there. I will do the same thing to the back part.
so I would sew like six inches for my for my zip so this is the back part so I'll place the front part on top of it this is how I'm going to join them together from the crotch area so I'll pick one leg of the back part before I will join the side so can you see that this is where I didn't sew it to the end so I will sew it see as the inner side of your trouser you pick the front and the back parts please why sewing don't stretch the the one on top if you stretch it one will be longer than one the one on top will be longer than one instead of you to stretch the one on top stretch the one under a little don't drag it too much if not you will end up having one longer than one so i will now join it i'll join the two part before i will now join the side you join the side from down i used to join my trouser from the down part So that's the side right there so after joining this is for my band this is about four inches four inches wide and 36 inches long so I iron hasty on, on it so I'll go ahead and fold as usual the way you fold for your skirts so I'll sprinkle water on it if you're using a steam iron you don't need to sprinkle water I don't use um, steam iron because it normally drain my light that one can finish your light like this you used to suck it so I prefer this smaller iron. So I'll measure one and a half inches for my trouser band. So that's how I iron it. I'm using a steam iron, you don't need this what I'm sprinkling up and down. So I'll trim out the excess. That part I'm trimming is the part I'm going to so then i will now use the folded part to cover it so this is for my belt holder so i'm going to fold the two parts then fold it again to close it then i will now stitch it This is actually a corporate trouser, that's why I have to do all this in case you want to wear it with shirts or tuck it in. So this is what the belt holder look like. So this is how to sew it. This is how to attach it to the trouser. You put it, you place it, then you now place the band on top. So it's about, I put my belt holder, I saw my belt holder about six places, the joining and the darts, and where the pocket is too, the two side pockets. So I have about six places. I stitch my belt holder too. So you see how I'm joining it. I'm sewing it from the front part, from the front part of my trouser. Please watch closely. You see, I will attach it to the side, the pocket, the two pocket side, and the back, the two back darts. So those are the places I will attach my. So I'll cut it three three inches.
So I need about six pieces for it. So can you see this? Can you see that? So this is it. So I'm now go ahead and fold it in and stitch it on top of the band. This is the back part. So I'll cut out this excess. There's about eight, two inches left. My waist is 34 inches while I cut about 36. See how I sew it? Cut it. So I'll now go ahead and cover it. So I'll cover the band, the place I sew. I'll cover it. I'll push it. I'll iron it inside first. But be careful when you're ironing. So you see, do I'm going to stitch my belt holder on my band. So that's I'm going to stitch all of them. So I've done that. This is my trouser. It's good to go. I've ironed. I've done all the joining. Can you see how beautiful it is? Wahoo. Please guys subscribe to this channel please subscribe -o. i've got a lot in stock for you we'll be taking them one after the other so can you see that see the leg of the trouser this is a corporate pant i will still teach us how so to make a palazzo palazzo you go trouser ahead and make and cut the upper part of the trouser of this outfit sorry here we are so I folded it I folded it once so my neck depth for the front part is three inches and my chest line is eight inches so i'm taking only three measurements here my neck my chest line and my and the length of my top there is no that is not fitted so no half length no boss points no under boss so i'm taking neck width of three inches too that's three by three so I'll make my neck off I will take my shoulder which is eight inches take my boss I will take the same measurement eight inches around my chest line then I will connect it connect it to my shoulder and that will serve as my armhole line so I'll divide my armhole line into two that will give me four inches I'll go in by 0.75 inches. That's for my front arm hole. I'll, I'll create my arm hole curve. I'll take my boss measurement, 38 divided by four, nine and a half. I added two inches. One inch for ease, one inch for sewing allowance. 
So I will take the same measurement at the down part. The same 9.5 plus 2 inches. That's about 11.5. I'll connect it. This is the same way you measure for your crop top. So I came down by 0 0.75 for my shoulder slope. Then I'll connect it to the neckline. So I'll go ahead and cut. So I'll use this to cut the back part. So the only difference is going to be the zip allowance. But I didn't use zip, I used button. I needed to wear this dress and I didn't see anywhere to get the exactly the particular zip. The shade of this red, I didn't see. So I have to turn it to button. So I made a button hole. So I'll go ahead and, con and cut out the facing so this is a front facing and this is the back part I slashed it into two then I'll cut out for the front parts interfacing look at it you already know how we'll do this so this is my sleeve from the beginning part I came down by 5.5 .5 inches from there I will take 9 10 inches for my armhole my round armhole ten inches From the ending side again, I made I want to be sure five and a half. So now take my bicep, which is eight inches. So I'll take my my bicep measurement. That is the circumference. That should be about thirteen inches divided by two. So the length of my sleeve is 10 inches. So I'm going to do a turn up. So by the time I do the turn up, I will cut out, I will reduce it to 9 inches because my turn up is 1 inch. So I will connect it. Cutting another fabrics for the ending part of my sleeve. Please, I want you to recreate this outfit. It's very simple. If you can watch this video, you don't have any, you won't have issue making your trouser. So the next trouser we will sew is palazzo. So I'll make sure that you get all the trouser. So this is my sleeve so open it up so from from the middle the middle of the front uh, the front sleeve the front the place i'm going to use for the front part the way i cut on the main body i'll go in by the same 0 0.7 inch you can do 0 0.5 if you want so i open it up so that side now you know the right side of this sleeve they are all facing each other so one will be for the left one will be for the front part can you see it so that's it if you place it on your hand one will be by the left and one will be by the right side can you see it then the other one too. So 
so this is the turn up for my sleeve So this is the facing, the front part and the facing. I will sew it and use it and so on. Then I will top stitch on the facing, on the inner facing. I will do the same thing to the back part of my dress. See, I've done it on the sleeve so this is down part of my dress I've attached the sleeve to the main body of the dress so this is about I use same gum I hem the down parts both the back and the front so now join the sides it's a very simple top simple but very beautiful you know camera don't give us all so I'll join it click on my measurements and I've joined everything we are there this is just all about our beautiful red outfit today we're almost there can you see the sleeve so i'll take my measurement then stitch it down that's it so please guys please please i'm begging you subscribe to my channel subscribe like share please share this video so that others will see and learn from this Thank you so very much for watching. God bless you. Love you. Please stay safe and stay alive. Bye for now and see you in our next video.